Hello, my name is Tim, my company is Sports and Touring and we are Jaguar F-Type Specialists. It is a rare privilege to find a car like this one. Not only is it a V6S all-wheel drive with wonderful specification, but it's presented in one of the rarest colours, Italian Racing Red. A deep and luscious colour which sits along with Fire Sand Orange and British Racing Green as the most sought after palette for an F-Type at present. That is because, by the way, when these cars were being specified new, these colours were not so in fashion, but they've come right to the forefront and are very much in demand now. Let's take a look around. We have come to understand very clearly that the colour palette on an F-Type has a very profound effect on its appearance. The other cars in the background there are Ultra Blue, Santorini Black and Chorus Grey. And each of them looks distinct and different to the Italian racing red car we're looking at. And of those colours, I would say perhaps the most striking is the Italian racing red. It's a very classy colour indeed. It's a refined and purposeful colour. Maybe there's a hint of sports car aggression about it. It's certainly very different. It's a beautiful shade and a shade which is very much in demand. Then take the appointments on this car. So the black pack and these beautiful 20 inch gloss black alloy wheels. And you have a very special looking thing indeed. Add the design pack side skirts also in gloss black and they provide a beautiful punctuation mark on which the car sits and of course the black side vents and bonnet grille inserts also look very splendid having waxed lyrical about the colors chosen for this f-type then let's talk about this individual car fewer than fifteen thousand miles with an excellent service history it is in stunning condition. It has been looked after. It has never, ever, I'm sure, been a daily driver for anyone. The mileage stands testament to that. We'll come to the interior in a moment, which itself is a glorious thing. And for someone who wants a very fine example of the F-Type in one of the very best colourways, this is a very attractive car, I believe. It's certainly a huge pleasure to have it here amongst our group of F-types at Sports and Touring. Let's take a look inside. The car is supplied, of course, with two remote key fobs and the owner's book pack. But one of the features is keyless entry. And so in order to open the door, simply press the button there, the handle pops out. And we can look into this beautiful cockpit with the combination of black jet leather and black stitching and the gorgeous ivory leather with contrast jet stitching, which runs from the door cards, the centre console, and of course these beautiful wingback performance seats, one of the many extra cost options on this F-Type, and the condition again of the interior, especially, you know, it's a low mileage car, so everything is very, very good indeed. No wear at all visible on the bolsters of the driver's seat there. Sitting down into the car, always a great pleasure to do this. The F-Type cockpit is a beautiful environment. It's a combination of technology and style. Uh, looking around, we've got a handy stowage between the headrests there. Another stowage under the armrest with two USB sockets, a 12 volt socket and an auxiliary input jack for the infotainment. Here, of course, we've got the two cup holders and then to explore the rest of the cockpit, we'll start up the supercharged V6 using that beautiful uh, Ignis Bronze start button. And as we do this, we'll see the instrument binnacle come to life and do its little uh, self-test. And we'll see the centre air vent rise up into position as well. There we are, accompanied, of course, by that beautiful soundtrack from the V6. And back to the centre console, we've got the Eco Stop Start button, deployable spoiler, 
uh, traction control off and the switched active sports exhaust button that's for the twin valves in the exhaust which uh, improve the exhaust note they make it a little bit louder more throaty and they improve what's already a great soundtrack to be a truly terrific one for your sportier driving moments electronic parking brake and then we come to the driving mode selector here. At the moment, we're in standard driving mode. We can move the selector back into dynamic mode. We see the active sports exhaust valves open up as well. And also on the instrument binnacle, the display turns red to tell us we're in dynamic mode. The suspension setup changes, the throttle mapping changes, the gearbox mapping changes as well. And the car is now set up for that dynamic driving experience. Other modes, back through normal into rain, ice and snow, very handy uh, in a powerful sports car like this with wide wheels in slippery conditions to use that mode. It tames the car down and makes driving much easier and, and re really relieves any stress from that situation if you find yourself on icy surfaces, for example. We'll put it back into normal and look at the shift stick. Beautiful piece of design. It falls so neatly into the hand. Uh, we've got the park button on the top, a trigger on the front so that we can move it into drive. And then from drive, we move across into sports mode. And when we're in sports mode, the engine basically, the, the revs are held higher for a sportier, more dynamic driving style. We can shift up and down on the shift stick there, or of course at any time using the Ignis paddles on the steering wheel. And we can pop it back into drive the normal gearbox mode there as well. Climate controls here, temperature selectors and heated seats, of course, three-stage electrically heated seats in this car, perfect for the winter. And up to the infotainment system, very fully featured uh, with a big clear screen here, the sunlight's shining on it, so that's making things uh, perhaps a little less easy than they might normally be, but it is very nice and clear. And we've got the four modes here, audio first of all, at the moment we're on Bluetooth, but there isn't a Bluetooth source connected, so we'll pop it back to DAB radio. All of your favourite stations are there. You can also select uh, your My Music source, which can be Bluetooth, uh, or indeed other sources include iPod, auxiliary USB, there is a CD player, and there's a jukebox in this car as well. So when you play a CD, you have the option to store it to the car, and then you can recall it just as though it's in, in fact it is, stored inside the car's memory. Uh, we've also got FM radio there, uh, if you fancy a more traditional listen. Uh, back to the home screen, and uh, we can see there's Bluetooth telephony, very fully featured, works brilliantly, very clear. The climate controls are accessible here to change the airflow and so forth. And back to the home screen, we can see the satellite navigation as well. Lovely big clear presentation, very easy to use, very easy to program your destination and so forth. And then going back to the home screen and to the screen on the right, we can see their dynamic eye. And if I select dynamic driving mode, and then dynamic eye. This is where we can set the car up to your own preference of gear shift, suspension, steering, and engine options when you're driving in dynamic mode. And we've also got a stopwatch, G meter, and pedal motion tracker with a two minute graph. Probably more fun than, than practical for many drivers, but if you do find yourself on a racetrack, you know, they're handy things to have. Over on the steering wheel, we've got the infotainment and Bluetooth controls there on the left-hand side under the thumb. Automatic headlamps on the left, on the right, cruise control and speed limiter, and the rain-sensitive wipers. And I'll just mention as well while we're here that the sound system in this car is the Meridian Surround Sound Package. So it's the very top level of sound system available in the F-Type, and it's a very high-quality hi-fi system indeed. Beautiful space then. Uh, we've gone through some of the features, but again, I would just point out the quality of this cockpit. It really is pretty well exactly as it left the factory. This is a low mileage car which has been cherished and looked after and is in truly stunning condition throughout. We'll switch the engine off and take a look in the boot. When Jaguar designed the F-Type, I have a strong sense that they wanted to make a practical sports car, not a grand tourer, definitely a sports car, but a sports car which you could take on long journeys, take on holidays, take on road trips without having to compromise on boot space. And so if we lift the power tailgate, 
we can see in the boot here over 300 litres of space. Yes, it's a slightly awkward space in terms of the shape, but there is plenty of room in there. And as long as you pack soft sided bags, you can take more than enough for a lengthy trip away. And I'll point out as well, it extends right out into the corners here behind the rear wheels. And that means that if you are into golf or fishing or another activity that requires you to take relatively long things with you, um, then this boot will suffice. Again, closing either with the button there on the tailgate itself or on the remote fob. And down it comes on the powered tailgate. And then you can just hear there, the motor does the final close as on every F-Type. So a pretty good and practical boot space. Coming round to the passenger side of the car, and again using the keyless entry, it's two-stage unlocking for security and safety. And we can see again a beautiful door card, pretty much exactly as it left the factory. Likewise, the scuff plate is unblemished and this beautiful leather seat is in perfect order. Absolutely nothing to remark upon in the way of imperfection. Under the bonnet, and there is Jaguar's supercharged V6 power plant, producing 375 horsepower and driving this F-Type from 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and on to a top speed artificially limited at 171 miles per hour. But this car isn't about those numbers. It isn't a drag racing car. It isn't a, a car which relies on mathematics for its brilliance. It's a car which relies on art and feel. It's a car where the connection between driver and machine and road and journey is just so complete and so well executed. Everything about the handling of the F-Type is superb. There's nothing I would change about it at all. And it is one of the best driving cars, I dare say, of all time. Under the bonnet too, you can see, by the way, everything in very fine order. Again, all the signs that this is a car which has been cherished and looked after. We've just serviced it at Marshall Jaguar Newbury, uh, and it has an excellent run of main dealer services prior to that. It's super low mileage and in superb condition throughout. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a huge pleasure to show you this beautiful F-Type. We are Sports and Touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to telephone, WhatsApp or email with any inquiries or if you'd like to see this car either in person or by video call. We have an online Google Drive folder for each of our cars where we keep high resolution photos which you can zoom in on and PDF copies of important documents and we can send you an access link so that you can study that folder if the car is of interest. If you've got a vehicle to dispose of on your buying journey, we will give you frank and honest advice about the best way to achieve the maximum value with the minimum inconvenience. And if you'd like to chat about finance, we can do that as well. We're authorised and regulated by the FCA. Do please take a few moments to read our reviews on Auto Trader. I am very proud indeed of the things that our previous customers say about us. And I'll close by saying thank you again, and I do look forward to hearing from you very soon.